This is uniquely American, and the people of this country have to ask themselves a basic question. Had enough? Had enough of sending your children and grandchildren to school and wondering if they're going to be victims of assault rifles? I mean, this is madness to think that some people rationalize this as part of the Second Amendment that's beyond me. I can't believe our founding fathers would make America sign a suicide pact. It comes down to a basic question for the voters of America. If you're sick and tired of worrying whether your kids or grandkids are going to come home safely from school each day, or from the movie, or out in the grocery store, will you do something about it? Will you ask candidates for Congress where they stand on banning assault weapons, military assault weapons, which once again showed up in Nashville, Tennessee? I mean, these are basic questions that voters have to care about, and if they don't care about it, it won't change. It's hard for me to explain the other side's point of view. It was inspired by the gun industry, which wanted to sell more firearms. So America has 400 million firearms today in a nation of 320 million people, more than one firearm for each individual. Uh, they wanted to sell more, and they were prepared to do it at any cost. I mean, at any cost. And so we end up with the craziness that we have. And it isn't just the matter of one party in Congress. The U.S. Supreme Court now is off on a mindless venture inspired by Clarence Thomas to suggest that our founding fathers would not have wanted us to take guns away from those convicted of domestic violence. That's the sort of warped thinking that uh, some of these people are pushing. And unfortunately, with the MAGA majority on the Supreme Court, it prevails. I am hoping that we can move forward. The American people deserve a fight, and we need that fight to be about common sense measures like safe storage and better background checks, but also an assault weapons ban. The carnage, the mass murder, the killings must be stopped, and we know the answer. The, the ban on assault weapons in Connecticut shows that these measures work. Inaction won't work for America anymore. I think we've shown that the gun lobby's grip on Congress has been broken, and the Safer Communities Act shows that there is bipartisan support that reflects the overwhelming majority of the American people who want an end to these mass murders by assault weapons. We know that a ban on assault weapons works, as we've shown in Connecticut, and inaction simply won't work for America anymore. There must be a fight in Congress. and. There are people like myself who are prepared to help lead it. I think in terms of the gun violence issue, I, I have an AR-15. One bullet in the hands of a uh, mentally disturbed person or crook is one too many. A uh, bullet in the hands of people trying to defend them li their life and property, uh, I don't care what the magazine holds. The goal is to get guns out of the hands of people that are mentally unstable or criminals. So if you had an assault weapons ban, I wouldn't vote for it, but bring it up. If you think that's the fix, I, you know, Senator Schumer's in charge. If you think that fixes the problem, bring it up, let's vote. I'm not afraid to vote.